Hello, this is Bob Foster. An SRR is Simplified Remote Restart. It is a feature of our Power8 server. And I'm going to act out a scene where I'm bike riding during the day. And then we're, unbeknownst to me, we were getting a server about ready to crash in the data center. And the data center people are going to give me a call here on my phone. I'm going to get that data center back up and running again. At least the L bars that went down uh, through simplified remote restart. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Oh, the servers crashed, huh? Well, why don't you just do uh, simplified remote restart to get that thing going back up? get those all, all those partitions going again oh you haven't done that yet oh it's pretty easy uh, I got my laptop in my car here I'll go back to my car real quick and I'll get that stuff restarted I'll give you a call back in just a minute okay bye bye Okay, so in our case, our hero is going to be our AIX admin that knows about that is enabled Simplified Remote Restart on his Power8 servers. Now, uh, Simplified Remote Restart has been available since December of 2014 for IBM's Power8 servers, and it allows a, uh, a server to crash. And when that server crashes, you can restart all those LPARs or partitions on another P8 server. And so you don't have to worry about having any. Uh, you can quickly restart these in a matter of minutes, as we're going to see after our AIX admin uh, gets through this water hazard and drives up to his car and uh, gets everything enabled. Okay, I've made it back to the car now, and I'm just going to bring up my laptop here and uh, do some screen captures and show you how quick it is to simplify remote restart that failed server. Switching over to screenshot mode. Now I'm going to quickly restart these uh, LPARs from this crashed frame here. So I'll log into the LPM and SRR automation tool. Click on remote restart. The server that has crashed in my case is Kurt P8. Uh, it's floated out. These are all the LPARs I want to move. Note there's no VLSs here because we don't remote restart VLSs. This is a P8 server. I can only remote restart to another P8 server. So here's my only other P8 server in my lab. I'm going to hit next. It's going to do a validate to make sure that uh, these LPARs have the right V SCSI. MPIV and SEAs on the destination and they do and so I can go into here and since I'm just wanting to get everything going really quick here and get back to my bike ride I'm just going to go ahead and start RR and it's going to start running here so now I'm going to pause this it's going to take about two minutes and then we'll see the results of this okay thank you okay I resume the recording and uh, we're seeing that some of these have been moved over already and the other one should finish in just a second and then we'll go look at them running now on the new Bob FP8 server. Okay, I've now logged into the HMC, and you can see that I have things running Bob F client ones run on Bob FP8, and I have the residual sitting over here on Kirk P8 that we'll clean up later. And so you can see I have multiple of these. I have moved client one, client two, client three, then also moved GB client two three, four, five, six, and you can see that five is, is I know it's a Linux on power partition, and it's still booting up, but it's uh, about ready to be all the way up and running too. So everything's remote restarted. I can go back to my bike ride. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.